hey, hey. So I want to take an opportunity to share with you one of the party methods um, that I don't know that I have shared very much. I know if you are seasoned to Fragrant Diamonds, you have seen me do a bag party. Um, or pack a bag for a bag party before but if you are kind of new you may not have seen what I put in a bag party bag parties are great because it's a great way for the customer to be able to smell things so I don't want us to get used to just doing virtual parties Facebook parties and things like that they're great Facebook parties are great but bag parties are an awesome way to get stuff in people's hands. I mean, you all you have to do is pack up a bag full of goodies and give it to that host, coach that, coach that host on what you have in there, give her some really good host coaching, and let her take that bag off and share it with her families and family and friends. It's a great way to party. It's a great way to party. And if you're not utilizing all the party methods, um, then you may be doing your business a disservice. Now, with that being said, I know that some people are more comfortable with certain party methods. I get it. So you definitely need to do what's comfortable for you. Don't do something that maybe pulls you out of your comfort zone a little bit. Work your way up to uncomfortable things. But I wanted to share this method because I think a lot of us sometimes get stuck on just, I got to get these Facebook events going. Facebook events are fine. You know, I'm, I'm very successful with Facebook events. That's primarily what I have. However, I am not to the, I'm not, um, um, to the point where I don't do other types of parties or offer other types of parties. And so I want to share this type with you. Um, it can be very attractive to people when you show them this bag full of stuff that they get to play with and share and share with their friends. And so I wanted to show you how, you know, pretty much how to do it. It's very simple and you can do it however you want to. There's no right or wrong way necessarily to do a bag party. But I just kind of want to show you kind of what I do. Okay. So now, your bag does not have to be this big. It does not have to have as much stuff in it as mine is. You pack your bag however you want to. I just choose to try to represent all the different areas of Scentsy in my bag so that people, you know, when they're flipping through the catalog or they're looking online, there's something represented from those um, different categories in the bag. So that's why I have so much stuff in mine. But um, I use these little clear bags. You use whatever kind of bag you would like. I got my bags off of Amazon, but that's what it looks like. And, you know, so first of all, that looks attractive to people. And when you tell them, hey, you're going to get to carry this bag of goodies with you and show it to people and, and use it and smell it and play with the stuff, that's kind of fun, right? <laughs> so that's one of the reasons why bag parties are a little attractive because they get all this stuff to be able to play with. And a lot of times, especially if I have products that I have not used, I actually sometimes will give my host things out of the bag. You know, hey, if you host a party with me, I'll give you some of the stuff that's in this bag. <laughs> you know, whatever it takes. <laughs> so let me just very quickly kind of show you what's in here. So um, I am missing a couple of things, but I will tell you about those. So one thing I typically don't do, which is what's making this bag look so full, is I don't usually send all of my testers. I usually will pick about 20 to 25 of my scent testers and only send like 20 to 25. But I try to pull some from all the different scent categories, okay? So when I do bag parties, I don't send my all of my testers. Now, you can if you want to. It's totally up to you how you do it. I'm just saying that I don't. But... For my July parties, I do think I'm going to send the bag, but there's a reason I'm going to send the whole bag. So, July is the last month for the spring-summer fragrances, okay? I'm going to be pushing that July is the last month for the spring-summer fragrances because I want to get Scentsy Club subscribers. And so, if I let people smell all that they're about to get, all, all the fragrances that are about to go away, which all of them won't go away, but some a lot of these will... If they smell them, fall in love with them, they'll be like, oh gosh, you know, <laughs> I think I want to keep that. Then, you know, there's an opportunity for a Scentsy Club subscriber. So for the month of July only, I think I'm, I am going to send my bag, my whole bag, just so people can smell everything. And if they have fragrances that they love, that's my opportunity to, you know, swarm in and say, hey, well, you don't have to lose that. I mean, if you want to be watermelon tangerine in it in December, you can. And I can tell you about Scentsy Club. Because that's what I do. <laughs> so, I am going to send them for July. But typically, I don't. 20 to 25 is what I send, okay? So, definitely send your your tester so they can smell some fragrances. I also send um, 
let's see, I also send a bar of wax, and it's typically whatever our monthly special is. I do that so that they can see what a wax bar looks like because, you know, we can't make the assumption that everybody knows about CNC because sometimes they don't. Um, so I want them to see what one looks like. So I'm, I, ooh, yes. <laughs> I usually send at least one bar so they can see what it looks like. And a lot of times I will give this to the host. But um, it's usually the scent of the month. So this is Appealing Apple because that's the scent of the month for this month. So I send that. And I also send a room spray. Again, this is the scent of the month. Now you can choose to send two different fragrances so they just have one additional fragrance to smell. But this is just easier for me. So I, I usually send that. Um, I also usually will send a... Um, either a wall fan a mini fan or a scentsy go i send at least one of those fragrance systems so they can see how they work okay and i always uh, teach the host how to use them i always show her the fan that's on the inside of her i always show her how to put the pods in tell her how long they last which a lot of that stuff's in the catalog but i i train my host my hostess okay so I always send one of the three systems. Doesn't have to be all three, but I try to send at least one from that uh, system. So this particular bag has a scent to go in it. So send that, and I usually do send. Um, I usually send a pack of pods um, so that they know what goes inside the wall fan. Also, so that they can see that it's a twin pack, and of course, smell how delicious it smells. This one is hibiscus pineapple. Boom! <laughs> Love that. So I send that. I also send representation for my cleaning products. It's usually counter clean. That's just because that's my favorite product in the cleaning line. So I usually send one of those. Um, and I usually send um, a representative from our laundry um, products too. Um, usually it's washer whiffs again because it's one of my favorite products. Um, but washer whiffs are bomb and people fall in love with them super super easily and so if they can smell these and even you know i don't mind them even using these because these are usually ones that i have open i don't even mind them using them like if they want to do a load of their laundry with it knock yourself out you know what i'm saying like i'm okay with that you know everybody's different but i'm okay with that but i usually do send a washer with so that they can get a little taste of our laundry stuff um i usually send um a Scent circle, usually I give this to the host. This is definitely a host gift. I, I give it to them after the fact. So I send that, and I also send um, a car bar just so that they, they know what that looks like. And then I just explain to the host that the car bar clips look pretty much just like this. They're a little bit smaller, but they have the clips on the back. And then I send a um, scent pack because I also send a Scentsy Buddy, some type of Scentsy Buddy. Usually it's Poppy. I don't typically send my licensed buddies because I'm selfish with those. <laughs> but um, usually it's Poppy. Um, and then I have, I do have Simba. I do send Simba sometimes. Um, but, you know, the ones that I really, really, really love, I don't send those. <laughs> but I like Poppy, you know. But anyway, I send Poppy. Or some type of Scentsy Buddy. And I send a scent pack today. And I show the host how that works. Um, and then the only other things that I send is I send catalogs. I usually only send like one or two. If you don't have catalogs, you can use product sheets or showcase brochures. Either one. I send order forms. People can order directly from the website. But the goal is to try to get people free shipping. So um, to try to get that party to $500 so that they qualify for free shipping. So I send order forms. And I have them to fill out the order forms so that um, I can enter these orders manually for them and get them free shipping. Now one thing you'll notice, I have, com I have filled out an order form completely for my host. I do that so that they know what information they need to get. Do not take these order forms without all the information. Email addresses, phone numbers, all of that stuff. Fill it out completely. And I do that on the front. I even show them how to fill out tax. And I show that to the host. Um, so it's filled out from top to bottom um, what it needs to look like when it gets turned in. Okay? Um, and then what payment methods you take. Now, I don't take checks. Personally, I don't take checks. So I mark that out. But they would just put their credit card uh, information there. Or um, I usually have a little card that I put on the inside that has QR codes on it because I take Venmo and PayPal. And so I'll put my information on there and they can send me their payment that way too if they don't want to put their credit card information on here. But I usually send that on a clipboard and I send a pen. Um, and then I send, I usually send some business cards that she can give to her um, guests. And then the last thing that I send is an opportunity pack, okay? 
Um, with every single party, um, qualifying party, it creates a host exclusive business kit, you know, and I like to be able to offer that to my host if she wants it. She may or may not want it. Somebody in her party may, uh, may want it, but I'm not going to not offer the opportunity. So I always send an opportunity pack, um, opportunity folder on the inside of this folder is pretty much just, I have, um, a showcase brochure in here. I have my story in here. Um, I have a host join brochure in here, my business card. Um, and usually I'll stick a scent circle in this and like a sample, something to smell because fragrance triggers memories. And so I want them to always, um, remember me, remember their experience with this bag, um, and remember the opportunity was presented to them through fragrance. So I always, but I always see an information about, um, joining in my bags. Okay. So that's it. Now, again, you don't have to send as much as I send. You send what you send, what you have, you send what you're comfortable with. You can use a smaller bag because I have done bag parties before with smaller bags before I built up enough stuff to have this. Um, you do it however you want to, but this is a great way to party. It's outside of Facebook, and people actually get to physically have something in their hand and spray it and smell it and see how good it works and see um, how good the washer with smell and see what a wax bar looks like. They get to see it instead of seeing it virtually. So this is a great way to party. Um, if you are not offering this... Um, particular type of party to your customers i encourage you to do so because it might be more attractive to them than a facebook party or even a home party some people are still just not ready to do home stuff and have people in their home and they get anxiety about that oh god i gotta clean up my house and the kids gotta behave and i gotta cook and i gotta have snacks and i have i have to have all these things and we're here to reassure them that no it's not that serious you know breathe <laughs> it's not it's not that deep but that's just where their head goes. And so this sometimes is a is a more attractive way to party for them that they can earn some free and half price stuff. So uh, just wanted to show you um, how to do that. If you have questions about bag parties, let me know. But definitely, you know, try to work that into your business and offer it. Especially if you're having trouble getting Facebook parties, this may be a better alternative for you. And let me know if you book from, um, from offering a bag party.